Everybody's got a favourite textbook of their own. Some like to read those lecture notes, some like to own a tone. It's no one else's business as far as I can see. But every time I'm on the ward, the patients stare at me with me little Oxford handbook in me hand. <laughs> some people on our firm don't understand. It tells you what to do if someone slips and breaks a bone. Interpret use and ease and how to use the patient's phone. But I'll tell for you why I think is the best. It even has a page on getting dressed. In the middle of the night, you'll always get things right if you keep your Oxford handbook in your hand. Yes, sir. Keep your Oxford handbook in your hand. One afternoon in A and E, a bloke came up to me. He said he'd got a garden, no in a place it shouldn't. <laughs> I asked him how it got there and checked his ABC. He went all red and said he was a lonely old GP, so he <laughs> was a handbook in the hand. I tried to pull it off his prostate gland. I twisted, pushed and pulled it, but in it did remain. I even tried to suck it out, it really racked my brain. I gave him lots of beans to eat. The gas built up, it popped out like a treat. All that I can say is it hasn't been that way if he kept his Oxford handbook in his hand. Yes, sir, keep your Oxford handbook in your hand. Yes, sir. 